Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Forager. I let it roll a little bit. We got a whole bunch of stuff all, all over the ground now to catch on up with. What is our goal for today? What do we got? We could work on a market or a bank, which is effectively just, we're going to need a lot of gold ingot. We don't even have leather yet, so let's just work on the uh, the bank then. So a lot of gold. That's okay with me. That's something I'm interested in. We got a topaz. It's going to be a rare gem worth a decent amount. I think it has like some special uses, but I know at the very least it's really valuable. But for now, let's get this a brewing. Okay. Good enough. Got. Nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. Eight. So we need how many total to make a bank? We need ten. All right. Gotta be some up here, right? Nope. Pine the tree? Nope. Yep. Nope. Yep. So two more. Means we need four ore. There we go. Two more four ore. Let's go. All right. On top of that, we needed brick, I do believe. Brick. And steel. Okay, we're going to need more. We need a decent amount more. Because steel needs four gold. Oh, four gold and four iron. I bet you we have enough to make... Yeah, we have... Oh my god, we can make a boatload. Let's do that. And then turn half our wood into coal. Alright. So we are indeed looking for gold yet. It's going to be a big thing. Oh my goodness. Because we do need gold to turn it into steel. Did I hit him in mid-air? Read of the god. Alright. So we could get this to make... Uh, we could make leather so that we could get that market that we've unlocked. Structures cost 25% less wood. Unlocks vaults. At this point... Let's do this because I think it's going to unlock some things that are more exciting. Trees drop 50% more wood. That does sound nice. Gain four inventory slots, 25% more XP from plants and crops. That seems like a nice long-term investment type thing. So maybe we will we'll go for that. Gold. Gold. I <laughs> got two coins. Yeah, it's going to be a bit before we can uh, branch out further. Like literally, like literally branch out. Extra two there. We do need one of these. Might as well get it out of the way. And then the other things was 20 bricks. Holy mother of goodness. We need a lot of coal. Which you can either get from coal itself or from trees. Coal is going to be the, like, just mining it directly is going to be more efficient, I can only assume. There's some gold. Hello, Mr. Cal. I don't want to kill you. Oh, there's some hiding behind blue lady the whole time. The greedy blue lady who wants my thousand dollars. I should eat. Should I? Really? Beom, 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 beom. He is a strangely loud eater. He's got some strange crunch a munching. All right. Oh, that's good. We got one of that. Hell, let's just do all of that because we are going to need to craft a lot of bricks. Oh, 20, 20. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. It's just going to take time. That's all it's, it's going to be. 
Then we get one bank. Ideally, we do want more than one going, but getting it started sooner than later is going to be nice. It's a big, like, we are losing out on a lot of gold that we could have gotten by just turning our bars into coins. But this is a, this is a long-term investment. It's all about setting some things up to be automatic so they can just happen without you thinking about it so that you can work on other things. And over time, like most things are going to get automated. Ooh. An amethyst. Okay, we are running out of inventory space. A market sounds like not a bad idea also. But we still can't make leather. Small wallet? What does a small wallet do? Does it give us more... If it's Zelda style, then it's giving us more space to hold money. But I don't... As far as I know, there's no limit on that. Maybe it makes you get more gold? Here, we can craft six string there. We might as well. Why not? God, this music is such a bop. I want to go change my hat. I'm not feeling this one. Doesn't suit my style. And eh, no backpack. All right. Yeah, I can't tell if that actually was going while we were inside or not. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Cost gold. Unless we can replace it with all the other gold bars. I mean, here we go. Because my, my concern is, what if the wallet just makes it so we get more money? Like, when we get money, we get more money, or something like that. I wouldn't put it past the game. It's the kind of, kind of upgrade it could give you. It's not shy with that. Alright, so we should be able to build our bank. I want to build it somewhere that we can really put a lot of them. I guess that's going to be good enough. Oh, level up. Should we get leather now? Let's get leather so that we can make that market and buy and sell stuff before we get tempted by everything else. Furnaces and forges work 25% faster. I mean, that sounds nice too. All right. Now this is just going to be slowly getting a coin like every however many seconds it works faster based off of how much money is in there so if you just let it sit there if you just set it and forget it by the time that we're going to want to take out the money to get something good it's going to be a whole lot in there oh so what do we need for market now 20 brick five leather what do we need for leather hides Hides and thread. So we need to find and kill cows. There's some wheat over there. Alright. The other thing we need was brick, right? And yeah, a bunch of bunch of bricks. Okay, we need 17 more coal. Getting there. Getting there. We're making progress. We're making progress indeed, indeed. We haven't unlocked any new spaces, but we, as far as, like, functional things go, we are getting a decent amount more. Ayo. Oh, a golden egg? Value 500 smackers. Oh, my God. We really need that market. I've never seen one of those. Some wheat too, why not? I think we can turn the wheat into bread. Just another another type of food. I 
<laughs> if you <laughs> just realized that, uh, just in case you didn't know what bread was, by the way. I kind of want to eat stuff to get rid of the sp space, but I, it feels like a waste. But we we don't have a lot of space right now. We could get a medium backpack, but that's going to take a lot of the ingredients that we're kind of hoping to keep for our market. Hmm. What's this? This is a very good video game, everybody. Like, I, <laughs> I'm so relaxed. It's, it's interesting. Normally, like, yeah, we're playing Gungeon. It's... It's gonna be uh, a little bit more tense. Got to be focused all the way the whole time. This it, it, sometimes it's like it's more convenient for you to actually just sit around and wait for a bit. Like there's always something you could do, but sometimes it's just like, hey, maybe maybe take a break for a couple seconds here. Like take a load off. I don't like doing this. I know we could invest in some storage. Wouldn't be a dumb idea at all. Wouldn't be a dumb idea at all. Get in there. So we can probably make... Yeah, we can make the rest there. We do need some wood. We lost a lot of it because we turned it into coal. Took the lazy way out. But honestly, like, the game is all about finding how can you take the lazy way out of this thing how can you take the lazy way out in this scenario and that's what it is what it's about and eventually you can have yourself a little empire where you just come back and you you check and see how did all this go instead of how did like how long is it going to take me to do this thing it's more just like i wonder what happened back in my home base you are you are dead oh my inventory is full oh that's our first hit of the run <laughs> calling it a run holy moly Yeah, without, I don't want to, I don't want to do this, but kind of just makes sense. All right, good deal. Oh, holy moly. What do we want to do right here? Oh no, I was, uh, that's right, I was looking for the leather. Holy mother of goodness. So we can do that, we can wait, and we can get the string of brewing. The thread, if you will. There we go. And that's enough of the leather. And we just need wood, and then we're done. Oh, come on. There we go. Smooth sailing. Get that market. Oh gosh, it's so big. It takes up so much space. Let me put it down here. Get all that garbo out of the way. Is it even going to work down here? We may need to find a different place for that bridge. That's okay. That's easy enough to do. We can we can always do that. That just costs wood. Now that we've got a lot of that either. Oh, oh, we can also just go behind. But for the sake of the sake of uh, visual clarity, let's put this here for now. Boom. All right. Let's do this, right? Right? Extra slots and the extra experience seems good to me. Unlock the shovel, windmills, and bread. Fishing traps catch things 50% faster. Unlocks cooked fish. We don't have any, uh... We don't have any fishing traps even out yet. Alright, this might be a stupid idea. I think these have value later. Like, a lot of this stuff, I'm gonna regret this, but look at that. We have 860 bucks now. We just opened up a lot for us. Okay, a little uh, shrine, and not to mention extra land. 
a, I believe that's a museum. And another little, I think that's an area with a little bit of a puzzle that we're supposed to solve. Okay. There's the beats. I think it's, we got that inventory. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling a whole lot better. So the thing we unlocked up here, I believe is, is a museum. Yeah, I died. I died. I don't think I've died on my other profile. Holy moly, what happens? You get kicked on back to the beginning? Okay. It's just a very minimal penalty. Okay, just kicks us back to here. That's fine. Not a big deal. So basically, we can throw in our uh, our ingredients, and we get a reward if we fill it up with everything. As of right now, I don't think that there's a real point to really hinder ourselves by throwing this stuff in here. What on earth is any of that? I have no idea. I don't think there's a real point to at this point. Because we're not going to finish it out. So we might as well not even start. Keep our, our ingredients, our materials for later. Let's go down here. Check out this other shrine. Wait, where's the shrine? There's the shrine. Yeah, it's definitely randomized. Which is neat. So this is a foraging foraging obelisk. Gain bonus experience from gathering herbs and crops. Only one obelisk can be active at a time. So we gain experience from gathering herbs and crops. I thought we already did. But maybe we just get a little bit more, or maybe I'm wrong. Got a puzzle here. I do know the answer to this puzzle already, but it's it's not actually that complicated. I, I'll leave it on the screen for a second while I mine this stuff, so if you want, feel like solving it, go right ahead and keep it paused or whatever. But I'm going to solve it right here, because it, it actually it took me only a couple seconds. It's just one, two lines, three lines, four lines. Easy enough. But then we get this... Okay. We get the chest unlocked. We would need to get ourselves another key to really get any value out of that. Leave me alone. We are one hit away from death, like, perpetually here, so we should maybe go up to that fairy fountain. Just to just to go up there and tap on that fairy. Where you at? Oh, come on, let me. There we go. Back to full health. Energy's restored and everything as well. Alright. What's our next plan? Probably to make a key, right? Yep, we've, we've already hit that uh, that critical point where we could really start to be <laughs> doing a lot of different things right now. I still don't think we have any way to get a bottle. Unless there's something for sale. Pepper seeds, wheat seeds, paper. Is there an easier way to get the bridge? Ooh! Goggles! XP increased by 20%. Very excited about that. That'll go a long way. That goes a long way. Just a general percentage increase like that. I'll take it. We could... Try... To push for this? I don't know. I think that the thing she gives you is nice, but maybe not like a really big deal. We could find out. We need glass and thread to make that. We need bones to make that. So th these are things we can't really mess with at the moment. We're very close to a level though. Oh! Shrine should make it so this should get us a little bit more. We 
we could always have things starting to uh, forge themselves here. Like, we always are going to want coal. We're always going to want this, like, turned into its form. Its ingot form. I don't think there's really a reason to have it in ore form unless we were going to donate it to the museum, which I don't really have an intention of doing. Alright. But, alas... I think that is probably going to do it as soon as we get... Let's get a level and then let's call it. Let's get that level. Figure out our next trajectory. Level 10. And with that, let's get our skill and move on. Treasury. You know, it might be a good idea to get some... The fairies out. Unlock torches. Structures cost 20% less wood. Boots and gloves. I don't know what they do. I assume the boots make you faster. Let's go with this. Let's just go with efficiency and we'll unlock extra things here. Unlocks royal steel and royal clothing. Unlocks flower press. Okay. Well, anyways, that is going to do it for today here. Like I said before, if you're interested in Forager, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if you want me to keep on plugging away at this series or not, if you're interested in the form of a comment or a like. But that's going to do it. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.